Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, April 27th. I'm going to talk about two different things right now. I've just been to the art center and retrieved some pots. Um, this bowl in particular, I want to offer to, as an example, to up and coming ceramicists. Okay, so what I did was I dipped it half in Wright's green and I dipped it half in uh, Val Cushing black and then I dipped the rim in Pete's red. Okay, so I get uh, a pure representation of the green, a pure representation of the black, I get the red over the black, I get the red over the green, I get all three of them colliding right there, I get a spot where it was just the green and the black interacting. So I get to judge a lot of interactions on one piece. Uh, also because I'm just doing the rim, okay, in, so, so these are semi-matte, semi-gloss, whatever. Since the, the triple layer is high, if it turns out that it runs, and it did, because it's high, it doesn't make it to the shelf to cause a, da uh, a problem. Okay, I want to talk about uh, ways of doing your pottery business. I've talked about, you know, being on your own and having to do all the jobs and so forth. And I've also talked about people who, for instance, throw all the time because they're part of a larger operation where, you know, somebody else is in charge of trimming or somebody else is, you know, the, the various aspects of the job are parceled out to, to various people. And sometimes that's just uh, a master who then has apprentices to help with all those things. So maybe the master is doing all those things or the apprentice is doing all those things, but it quote unquote lightens the load. And it means, particularly if you're firing with wood, that you have people already there to help with the overnight shifts and so forth and so on. But there's a there's a third way. Okay, so there's the, the solo person on your own, and then there's this major sort of group operation. And I say major, it could be it could be three people, it could be three hundred people. I don't know. Uh, I have some friends who run Ash and Griffin Pottery, and it's three of them, and they could each do it solo. I mean, they each have their own studios in their own homes, and they each have their own body of work. But they have combined for the purposes of sales. So they'll, you know, they'll travel together in the same truck, they, they sell out of the same tent, and that way they're there to, to help. Um, and it's been going for, for many, many years. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, like a marriage. I mean, there are good days and bad days. But I really recommend it. Uh, if, if you have the right people, and I, I've done a sort of a miniature version of that with my friend Anna Gito, where, you know, for our local Potter's Guild, you know, she brought her pop-up tent and I brought my shelves and so forth. And that way, you know, there was two of us there in case somebody needed to go get lunch or go to the bathroom or something. Uh, look around where you are and, and if you're feeling overwhelmed, it may be that there's a way that you can combine, at least on the day of the fair, with someone else that will help uh, lighten the load and make the whole process um, friendlier, less lonely, more congenial. Anyway, this is sort of a limited partnership thing. It, it doesn't have to overlap financially. Um, you know, you split the cost of things and so forth, but anyway, it's worth considering. Have a good day.